It's it's like a it's a very sad ending, you know. It's a very 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 sad ending. Man, well, that's it, chat. That's it. Anyone's watched? I mean, my thoughts about the um. About the entire game, I, I think, it, like I said so before, it's best played in like multiple chunks. Like, like I would say like three chunks. Like it's there's three distinct acts, very clear, and it, it's it's showed by when you play as different characters. I I mean, I got the theme very on that it's it's literally the whole thing is like an eye for an eye leads the world blind and. What ended up happening with Ellie is that she thought that she was literally that moment that she found out that she wasn't, um, that moment that she found out that her entire life, what she says so right there is like when Joel took her out of the hospital, her, that's her, her, she felt like her, that was her purpose in life. That's what made her life matter. And as soon as, as as soon as um joel took that away from her she was basically a ghost right she was literally a ghost this banshee just wandering lost in jackson and she felt like she just couldn't really live her life she couldn't really live her um i always said that when i saw the trailer like she couldn't she couldn't like relax she couldn't dance she couldn't laugh she couldn't be part of that and dina was doing her best to shake her out of it you know and and joel the whole time was trying to shake her out of it but she felt like a ghost she wasn't there and then that moment you saw that we saw was the final piece of the puzzle for ellie to for for them to be like, all right, we're going to, you know, forgive each other. We're going to move on. We're going to start living life. And then at that moment, it gets cut, right? We had this incredible sequence and things of that sort. And Joel gets killed by Abby. And then, so you get this like, okay, all of a sudden that empty vessel that Ellie had no idea what was her purpose of life anymore. She was a ghost. She was empty. Gets filled with so much hate and rage that her new purpose was to go and uh, revenge Joel. And all that stuff, Just she just tunneled vision and just forgot about everything that was going for her. She forgot about Jackson. She forgot about Dina. She forgot about all this whole community. And this entire uh, rage led to her murdering so much people and causing so much the butterfly you know the butterfly effect of just all these ripples of destruction of pain and within that wake um you know abby was involved but the thing about this whole thing about abby is that abby was a victim of joel's destruction joel did the same thing in the last of us part one bang 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 and he murdered her father and so when the moment her father was murdered, her life didn't have a purpose. She started getting fit. She started being very militant, a uh, militant. She did her best to um, fill that void with this revenge. And she herself was haunted and was a ghost that moment on. She couldn't live with Owen. She couldn't embrace this life in, in Seattle. So that's why Ellie and her are the exact same thing, right? And we're getting that exact same mirror, right? We're going the whole way, Abby. And, 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 and you know, and I, and I think maybe Naughty Dog didn't have to go as deep as they did with Abby for me to get that message. I got that message very early on, but I see why they did that. But the whole thing about it, it to me is it just shows you that violence, revenge, you know, like I said, eye for an eye, it, 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 you end up losing in the end. You end up losing. And that's what Joel was trying to tell her his whole time. Like, you don't have to go through with this. Or that, that That's what Joel tries to teach her in, from what I remember in the first one. But it, it's just so wild to see 
that uh, the ending, I know people, it's, it's a lot different ending, but the first Last of Us Part 1 ended the same way. When Joel saves her, Joel, he asks her, and he, he and Ellie asks her point blank, and it, it literally ends with Ellie going, okay, and they move on into this journey. And so Ellie goes on, man. I mean, she lost a lot. She lost so much. And the thing that Abby has is, is Lev. So Abby lives on her life with Ev. So that, that's very, hey, Scott Lowe and Grant Vogel, man. Oh, geez. There's so many names that I recognize here. So congratulations. First off, thank you so much for PlayStation for br bringing me uh, a copy of this game. Thank you so much to them. Uh, thank you for everybody that watched this entire uh, playthrough. If you watch the VOD, who are live with me, we literally 24 hours of playing this game back to back. Um, seven years of it all together. You know, a call, crescendoing in this thing. I felt like, again, the best way to play this is, is like in three in three parts, because like your body, you, you start you're, you start wanting to get to the end of the rope. You're like you're like I, I need to get to the end. I need to get to the end. I need to get to the end. But if I think if I would have like taken my time a little bit on that bad boy, you know what I mean? I think we would have we would have had. Um, you know, let that moment breathe a little bit, but the game loop itself, the stealth, the uh, the stealth, the, the 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 melee mechanics, the contextual combat, all that stuff is phenomenal. All that stuff is so fun, and it's it's an incredible thing to do uh, to have those those encounters and to like there's those moments where you can literally run by everything and it was so like ooh I didn't get touched by anything right there like wow you know what I mean. That was really cool, and I didn't kill a single dog that I did not have to. The only one was Alice, of course. So, yeah, I I, I just think, like, uh, the cast itself, every single person in this cast was tremendous. And I think, like, Troy Baker was a, a good stand. -up. Ashley Johnson as well. But Troy, the moments that he was in, man, just really, like, boom. I, I Even that ending moment, him touching the, 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 the mug, like, just you could feel that. That pain and the yup. So I mean, Troy Baker, what a considering he's more of a support taking the back seat to this thing. But I, I think the story again. They've always said Last of Us is just part one. This is part two. This is the complete story of this entire thing. Um, I, I think the game itself is an awesome game, and I don't know whoever's Naughty Dog developers watching this right now for the please make a multiplayer from this engine that you have. You have so many awesome maps already laid out just make a multiplayer the last of us faction community deserves it um but yeah i i, I enjoyed it, it was, it's a great it's a great ride man what a great ride like by that end that last encounter in the in the thing Someone asked, in the story's payoff, was it worth it all? Honestly, this is the thing about it. Is revenge worth it all in the end? The answer is no. But again, just because it's not a normal ending, like a video game ending where you face a boss at the end, even though we had a fight, uh, it, it doesn't have to have an, a happy ending. This is not a happy ending. This is a sad ending. This is a drama. It's a dramatic game. The ending that we have here is Ellie lost everything. She lost. And, you know, even if she did kill, if she would have killed what's her face, Abby, I think she would have been haunted. She would have been haunted by Abby. It's one of those ones, man. It's one of those games you, you have to, like, really think about. Think about it. And for the first time in a, in a long time, it teaches you that there's consequences in what you do in your game and what you did in your journey for i remember so many people literally memeing joel killing those doctors like eh, you know killing them with a with a flamethrower doing everything under underneath the sun to the doctor and they thought it was funny and then you know the in comes part two and says that's it's not a joke you know but again we may have discourse, we may disagree in the ending, we may disagree in, in the choices that Naughty Dog made, but this is their, the story that they told. And long as you just have, you know, a good discussion about it, we're good about it, you know what I mean? 
I mean, how do you end The Last of Us? I mean, I, I don't think... I always thought that Joel had to pay for what he did. So he did pay the price. I think it's interesting that Ellie t did pay the price too. So they everyone paid their price. They paid their ticket. Abby paid her ticket. So. That is The Last of Us Part 2. And thank you so much for everyone that watched. I appreciate it. I have to think about it more, but I guess that's my review. I mean, it is it is a great game. You you have to play it. Anytime Naughty Dog makes a PlayStation, uh, end the PlayStation cycle, so to speak, or be close to it, you have to play it. They got so much out of this system. They got so much out of everything. It's such a masterpiece of a game when it comes to just technically story and things like that I mean, as you can see a lot of people are, are broken about that i think a lot of people though um really are attached to joel as a pro like as a like as a hero as a pro like as a protagonist but like literally though i mean i'm turning it down just in case dmca comes the thing but literally though i mean again joel had to pay his price and it was a, such a brutal way oh my god but again, thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. Uh, again, I'm very thankful that uh, PlayStation gave me an early copy of this. I'm um, excited to see where Naughty Dog goes after this, by the way. I mean, Naughty Dog is a studio that they could literally do anything at once when it comes to, to creation and IPs. Who knows, we might get a new IP, but I think it's a great uh, curtain call for the cast of The Last of Us and the curtain call for any dev that worked on it. So, um, yeah, man. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. Thank you to Stu for the 200 bits. And a special shout out to Haley who created this awesome overlay. Um, the concept was just very simplistic, minimalistic to keep the stream going and uh, immersive as much as possible without being too obnoxious. And I think we did it. I think the, the vibe of the stream was really cool in terms of just the overlay. Very minimalistic. Will there be a part three? I don't know. I don't. I don't want a part three. Well, I mean, like I said, Ellie was a ghost for this most of this game. She was a a, a a revengeful ghost, and you know, sometimes people, bad people, like bad people like that, who who done so many bad deeds, um, lack of a better word, sinners, they, they don't get a good ending. That's why I always keep thinking like a western. You know, that's that's a very like old wild west type of ending. It's, it's just. You know, redemption doesn't usually end up. And the same thing with Red Dead Redemption with that ending. Don't want to get too much too far. But those are my thoughts on my game. If you want to uh, take a look at it, just go about, about 10 minutes or so. I have to go. I've been playing for 12 hours. And probably I told my wife that I would be done today so we could spend a couple of days. i probably going to take Monday off as well. Shout outs to you if you watch the VOD on YouTube. Thank you so much. If and when the Factions multiplayer comes back, I hope so it does. I'd be very, very excited to play it because, man, that would be the, the true welcoming home to that whole thing. All right, y'all. Y'all be, be good to each other. Uh, I think the lessons here is, you. I mean, I feel like Joel and Ellie left on, the, on, like on a good note, but it just shows you that, you know, you never know what's literally going to happen, man, in the blink of an eye. In a blink of an eye, lots of lots of people, like friends in this game, so to speak. Uh, the, ca the characters blink of an eye, they're gone. So yeah. All right, y'all. You be good to each other. Thank you so much. And uh, and as always, oh yeah, peace. I just like to say though, if you see anyone else playing this game stream, be kind to them. Don't come in and, and tell them what to do. Don't try to backseat. Don't try to, you know, let them ruin endings. Don't spoil it for them. Just don't spoil it on social media, anything like that, you know. And if you have something disagreement to what the game's ending, you know, hold your thoughts and to let them come to the, the, the ending of it. All right. I've been saying goodbye a hundred times, but that's my goodbye. I bid you adieu. And as always, oh, yeah, be good to each other. Peace. Thank you, Naughty Dog. <laughs>